when you walk up to a VGT machine, you will see this right here. That is the bingo card patterns that you can win on. So it says in 34 balls called, or 37 balls, lucky seven. So if you get that pattern in 37 of these numbers being called, then you will win that amount. And it changes, you know, for each bet. Like this is bet three, pay 15 if you get inside corners. If you get a postage stamp, it pays 30 for 35 balls called and so forth and so on. So each one of those bingo card patterns corresponds to something you'll see on the reels. And over time, you just kind of learn what those are. It's hard to explain until you play a machine, but when you hear people calling out the patterns, those are the patterns that you get paid off of. So the reels don't matter. It's the patterns that matter, and the reels will match the pattern. Indigo Sky, put a $381 ticket in, a dollar lucky duck, $3 max bet. I don't have uh, Brandon here with me, my lucky charm. So I can't really shoot the screen very good, and hopefully, I'll have some luck. Screen mixed bars. I say mixed bars because you see this pattern here, those corners. That is a mixed bar pattern. You can tell that when you look at the card. Uh, when you walk up to the machine, it's showing you what patterns pay what, and those patterns correspond to. Um, real positions. Alright, that was cross corners to 30. So, after a while you learn which patterns correspond with what on the reels. So, if I see the uh, gosh, I can't think. Like this right here. Small diamond. I see that pattern, so I see that pattern, small diamond pattern, that means I'm going to get the duck off the line. If I get, if it, if it actually hits. I mean, sometimes you get the pattern, but it doesn't hit because it's not in the right number of balls called. So you see this screen here. The numbers in yellow are the numbers you have to get in your bingo pattern to win. The white numbers really don't mean anything. It's just counting down to the end of the game. The yellow numbers are what you have to get on your bingo pattern to win. So that's where it makes it difficult. Because you can get like this as a, look, you've got four corners, um, but it didn't pay anything because these numbers we're not in this yellow numbers. Hope that makes sense. Now this one has a small diamond pattern, which was the duck off the line, and the inside corners, duck, which was the mixed bars, and a step ladder, which pays 30. Makes sense. All right, going. Peace sign. Awesome. Inside corners. Oh my goodness. Step ladder. This is all the patterns. Makes sense. Peace sign. Baby buggy. So there's all the patterns. Inside corners, step ladder, 
make sense. You see the numbers flashing here? That's the numbers in yellow that make up that pattern. Well, that was an awesome win. All right, let's keep spinning a little bit. So this was all from my $100 I started with over on a Wheel of Fortune game. Hopefully I can uh, explain these bingo patterns a little bit. That's what I look at. I'll look at that card and if I see a pattern, I'll call it out like I'm going to win it and I'll always win it, of course. It would be nice if you could always win every time you get the pattern, but you don't. So this has the inside corners and it actually did pay it. So that's the inside corners and you see the numbers flashing. They're inside those yellow numbers, so that's a winner. And another thing that's interesting, I don't know if anybody else has ever noticed this or not. These numbers that come out here are in order. The first number that comes out is a B number. Like if you were playing bingo on a bingo card, that's a B number. The next number is an I number, an N number a G number and then an O number and then it starts over again B-I-N-G-O every card is always like that the numbers are always in order it's if you ever play bingo you know when you get a bingo card certain numbers fall under certain letters like B numbers are 1 through 15 So here you can see B, that's an I, an N, a G, an O, then a B, an I, N, G, O, B, I, N, G, O, B, I, N, G, O. So the numbers are sort of random, but sort of not. They're always going to come out in that order. But they don't really matter because it just matters on the card that you get dealt. Every time you hit the spin button you get a different bingo card all right we've got private stripes inside corners I'm getting lots of uh, patterns, but it's not hitting them. So, when I start seeing that happening, then I feel like the machine is um, just not in a winning, uh, it's not dealing me the winning cards, bingo cards. And if it does that for very long, I will move on. That is just my superstition, but you can't win unless you get dealt a good bingo card. If the machine is not giving you the good bingo cards, it may be a sign just to try a different machine. Now, if I go, you know, 10 or 15 spins and I don't win back the money I've spent in it on 10 or 15 spins then that's another thing I'd like to move on I'm going to play it to 9.30 and then if I don't win anything that, this next spin I'm cashing out alright that was an awesome win <laughs>